In this video, I will be showing you four different ways to color grade log footage in DaVinci Resolve. If you're not familiar with log footage yet, it's a flat and desaturated image format that many cameras can shoot in. And log footage is a great way to preserve more detail in your images, but it can be tricky to work with when it comes to color grading. That's why I will share these four methods with you today. And I will also tell you which one I use most of the time. So let's get started. The first method I want to show you is using a conversion LUT from your camera manufacturer. Many cameras, especially higher end ones, will come with a LUT specifically designed to convert log footage to a more visually appealing image. And these LUTs are usually available for download from your camera manufacturer's website for free. So you can just Google for your camera manufacturer's name or your camera name, plus the LUT profile that you shot in, S-Log3, C-Log3, C-Log3, F-Log2 or something like that, and then LUT and you will find that somewhere on top of the Google search results then. And to use them in DaVinci Resolve, you will need to load the LUT in Resolve first. To do that, you access the LUT folder by right-clicking on one of the LUTs in the LUT panel on the color page and select Reveal in Finder. Then the Resolve's LUT folder opens. You can copy your LUT inside, go back to Resolve and select Refresh. After right-click on one of the LUTs again and the LUT shows up. From there, I suggest to add at least two nodes and apply the LUT to the second or last note because this allows you to make adjustments to your clip before the LUT gets applied because LUTs reduce the color information in your clips so you essentially get better quality and less issues when you apply the color grades before the LUT gets applied. This method has been quite the standard for a long time for color grading log footage but today there are better methods in my opinion so let's have a look at a better one. And our second method is called a color space transform. This method involves changing the color space of your log footage to a more standard color space, such as Rec. 709. It's a similar way to what a conversion LUT does, but it can give you a better quality in certain cases. To do this in DaVinci Resolve, you will need to apply a color space transform node to your footage in the color tab. So you simply add a node, select color space transform in the effects panel, select your input color space and gamma, which depends on your camera and log profile you chose and then you set the output color space and gamma which is Rec. 709 and gamma 2.4 for Windows computers and Rec. 709 and Rec. 709A for Apple devices. And when using color space transforms I also prefer to make adjustments to the footage with a node before the color space transform gets applied because when you transform to Rec. 709 you also reduce the color information to work with so you get better results by making adjustments before applying the color space transform. It's essentially the same as using a LUT. But I would actually prefer this method over using conversion LUTs because this method can be especially helpful if you're working with footage from different cameras that have different color spaces. So your colors will likely match a bit better than or it's easier to match them as if you would work with conversion LUTs. And the third method that I want to show you is using FilmConvert or Cinematch. And FilmConvert, the company behind both plugins, is also the sponsor of today's videos. So thank you for that, FilmConvert. And FilmConvert is a plugin for DaVinci Resolve that can emulate the look of different film stocks for all major cameras, while Cinematch is a plugin that can match the color of your footage to the look of other cameras. So let me show you how to use them. Both plugins work quite similar to a color space transform. You just have to add a node, then select film convert in that case and now you can select your camera and color profile you shot in. After that I always bring the grain slider to the left as I'm not a big fan of film grain and then I select the film stock that I like and from there I make my tweaks with the exposure, temperature, tint and saturation sl sliders until the image looks good. Film convert also features on-screen controls to adjust specific parameters such as shadows, midtones and highlights and the tone curve. These tools are great if you need further tweaking, for example, to, re to reduce the contrast in certain shots, sometimes just a little bit too much. And as you can see, with just a few clicks, I transformed the log footage to film-like colors. 
pretty cool. So that's what Film Convert is good for, but to give your videos a more modern cinema look, I actually prefer to use Cinematch because that allows you to emulate the look of Ari Cinema cameras, which is the gold standard in Hollywood and many other productions. So Cinematch works mostly the same as Film Convert. I select my camera and picture profile again, but then I have to select the target camera that I want to emulate. So if you want to match different cameras, you can convert the log footage from your drone, for example, Example, to log footage from your normal camera. But in my case, I transform the C-Log3 profile from my Canon camera now to the ARRI log profile. From there, I only have to check apply Rec709 transform and voila, our clip is transformed from log to normal colors or more ARRI looking colors. And of course, I would also tweak the settings like exposure and temperature a bit until it fits. And I generally add a bit more contrast with the tone curve tool because Cinematch is not that contrasty by standard which is actually a good thing by the way. Then the result usually looks very good already. Of course, I do a bit more color grading after that to define my final look, but that is really up to you. That's just creativity. And as you can see, it works super good and easy with both Film Convert and Cinematch, depending on what you want to use it for. So check out these plugins. I will leave links to them in the description below. And the fourth method to color grade log footage in DaVinci Resolve I want to show you is using the DaVinci Resolve color management. Resolve color management is a color management system built into DaVinci Resolve which can help you maintain consistent colors across different cameras and color spaces. But the main reason why I find it super helpful is that it actually makes working with log footage extremely fast and easy. So to use Resolve color management you first have to activate it in the menu. So you go into project settings, select color management tab and under color science you select DaVinci YRGB color managed, then you deactivate automatic color management and under color processing mode you select HDR DaVinci white gamut intermediate and output color space Rec 709A for Apple devices and Rec 709 Gamma 2.4 for Windows computers. Yeah, yeah, I know that doesn't look easy at all, but it's actually the only a bit complicated part. And you can save it as a preset, by the way, with the three dots in the corner and set it to default, so you never have to set it up again. And from here, the rest is actually super easy. All you have to do is to tell DaVinci Resolve which log profile you used on your camera. To do that, you either go on the media page, do a right click on your clips and select the pro log profile you shut in, or you can do the same on the color page. And now Resolve automatically converts the log footage in normal looking colors. So you can just apply a LUT or color grade the footage to your liking, but the log conversion is already done. Now, the great thing about the DaVinci Resolve color management is that it's not like working with LUTs or a color space transform where you should do your adjustments before the LUT or transform gets applied. But instead, DaVinci Resolve converts all the colors in a color space Space that is actually larger as our eyes can see while you're still color grading the footage and then converts it to normal Rec. 709 colors automatically after you did your color grading. So you don't have to think much about where you place your notes and you always get the best quality. And by the way, if you want to learn how to both edit and color grade in DaVinci Resolve, I actually launched my new DaVinci Resolve online course today. And to introduce it, I give you a 30% discount on the Resolve course and a huge 40% discount on my wall Learn with Pascal online school from today until Monday the 27th of March 2023. So what's special about this course? Why should you take it? Well, I was originally a Final Cut Pro user which is a quite simple and easy to understand editing app. So even now in DaVinci Resolve I keep my editing actually quite simple by creating most of my effects only on the edit and color page instead of fusion and it still looks great. So in this course you will learn how I do that how I work in DaVinci Resolve and especially my color grading workflows help a lot because believe it or not, but color grading my regular videos takes me less than 10 minutes and even my hero content generally takes less than an hour. So this course will save you a lot of time. Check it out, link is also in the description below and let's come to my favorite log conversion workflows. So which log conversion workflow do I actually use the most? 
For my usual videos, I like to use Resolve Color Management because it makes color grading extremely fast and it looks great. And as mentioned before, I literally take between 5 and 10 minutes for regular YouTube videos right now by using this workflow. It might also be because I developed an incredible finishing LUT that I will also publish soon in my shop. But the color management definitely helps a lot as well, especially the grouping feature. But there are also my non-regular videos like my cinematic edits. And for those, I really like to use Film Convert because Film Convert gives it this nice filmic look that makes the videos really stand out from other Others. And yes, this video is sponsored by Film Convert, but I already bought this plugin and used it a long time before they even offered me a collaboration. So my opinion about it is not bought. So let me know in the comments which method you use the most and why. And if you have any other tips for color grading log footage in DaVinci Resolve. And if you also want to know my favorite plugins in DaVinci Resolve, check out this video here in the corner. There you will learn more. And I would say see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.